Hey, welcome to a special video where this month we're looking at Native American Heritage Month. And I got the opportunity to visit a powwow in our area. The Guilford Native American Association puts on this festival or powwow every year in the middle of September. And I was lucky enough to see how these communities come together and keep their traditions alive. When I got there, uh, everyone was still setting up and it was really a nice scene of everyone coming together, running into old friends, saying hi to each other, setting up their booth. I even have my dogs with me here. This gentleman was doing an opening ceremony where he's burning some white sage, you see there? And he's cleansing the area spiritually in the tradition of his culture. And he comes from the Haliwa Saponi Nation. This is their crest or seal, the Haliwa Saponi tribe, and they're native to this area. So this is a great place for people to gather and reunite. So while people were setting up, I started to get a little bit hungry. So I decided to make my first stop, the food truck. Mills on wheels, that's right. They had some special foods that were made in the Native American tradition. Here's their menu. Really cool stuff. I decided to get some fry bread with sugar and honey on it. It was delicious. Look how excited I am. Right. And I had a look around. I could see all these performers getting ready to dance, craft workers selling their art. So many cool crafts. And the occasion began with a simple dance called the Fancy Shawl Dance. You can see that these members of the community are wearing special clothes called regalia. Those are clothes that you wouldn't necessarily wear all the time, but you do wear them when you're trying to represent your culture and traditions. So this is a slow dance, and this is the kind of dance where just about anyone can join in. And it's like a little march and dance in a circle around the ceremony area. They move kind of slow. Other people start to join the line. You can hear the drummers drumming and singing in the background. I thought that was really cool. So as these folks made their way around the circle, more people joined. We all got to have a good look at the really cool galia, clothes, ornaments, and even the way they were dancing. And I had an opportunity to meet with this gentleman. He's a member of the Okanichi Band of the Saponi Nation. He was there representing his culture and tribe by dancing and taking part in the ceremonies at the powwow. Here's some other dancers from that tribal association showing their amazing clothes, their dance moves, and sharing their culture. Well, while I was watching all this, I actually made a new friend. <laughs> the bees were interested in the fry bread I was eating because it had honey and sugar on it. And bees, they actually love honey. They make honey, but they also eat it. So I had a friend that stuck to my hand and tried to clean all the honey off my hands. I have hands. a new friend. Just a reminder to be sweet. I also got to look around at the artwork that people were making and selling and saw some really amazing stuff. There's the three sisters, corn, beans, and squash. I also saw some handmade jewelry. There's a thunderbird and a woven bracelet. 
and I got a chance to look around at the other crafts like woven baskets, drums, pottery, all sorts of things. Well, that's all for now. Stay tuned as we learn more this month about Native American cultures and art. Bye for now.